Hello, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today we're going to be doing an ISO piping demo inside MechQ. Uh, we also have another product called ZW Mech, which is a standalone uh, version of MechQ, which runs inside ZW CAD. Uh, so have a look at that on our site at cadavenue.com. Uh, and uh, today we're just going to be going through some some uh, a basic uh, isometric drawing using our toolbar and dialog interface. So we'll begin by selecting the isometric module from our toolbar and then creating the drawing using these three views. First we're going to start out with the left view and then be drawing a short piece of pipe and eventually a T connection coming off from this. We simply can choose different fittings as we go using this dialog box and then changing our ISO grid view as we go. It's as simple as entering in two points. MechQ always remembers the last point that you've drawn and goes back to that by hitting the uh, enter key, you return back to that last point. We can also choose from uh, a symbol library and enter in our pipe breaks on each end of this pipe run. Now we'll choose the right ISO grid and continue from the T fitting. And now we'll go back to the left view. and we'll turn a couple more times. Each time we turn, MetQ puts the elbow in for us, as you notice. And then the center line, shown in white. By the way, you can change the coloring of, of the layers as you want using the configuration menu. Now we'll be uh, selecting a flange. And next, a valve. By the way, let me show you something. If, let's percent, for instance, you you enter a a pipe without a valve after after creating this, you'll get a message, which I'll show you. So it's reminding you to add the flange. And now let's finish up the ISO drawing. We'll enter another 90. Let's change views here. And then finish it off with the flange. And while we've been doing all this, it's been creating a bill of materials. So let me show you that next. So we'll go into the VOM command, 
choose apply and now we can simply label all our parts every time MECQ is actually creating the leader for us and then asking where to place the bubble So bear with me for a minute here while I just finish up on on these callouts. Look at that. minute here you'll be able to see that MetQ will also create a schedule for you showing all these parts listed. So here's what our schedule looks like. And you can see it's running from bottom to top, but you can change that setting. Uh, I forgot to change it before I did this demo. So uh, you can see that now. And so now let's go over and, um, and create uh, a couple of isometric dimensions. dimension the height of this short run here. By the way, this model is, is drawn very, very small. Um, so the dimension is going to be like three inches, I think, for this run here. But I did that just so you can see all the different um, the different ways of creating this. We can actually override this dimension as well. So after you enter in the second point, you can put in any uh, number you wish, like maybe, I don't know, 10 feet or whatever. This is three and a half inches. You can also put ISO text wherever you want. Just enter in two points. and then type in the string. We'll do one more going the other way. So you can see it's very easy to do that. Um, let's just put one more dimension there at the top. Wrap this up. We'll choose the right view and then enter in two points. It's as simple as that. So you can also turn off the, the little center lines as well. Those are on a different layer, um, on a center line layer. So I'll just show you that real quick. So 
Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, demo. Uh, feel free to um, visit some of our the other demos we have on the site as well. Visit catavenue.com or call us at 888-271-7121. You can also visit asvic.com.au, the makers of MECQ and ZW Mech. Cat Avenue is uh, owned by ASVIC in Australia and serves the U.S. and Canada. Thank you and have a great day.